Game two of our Saturday afternoon doubleheader. It's the Red Ravens of Coffeyville Community College and the Cougars of Barton County. I'm Shane Neal, so happy you're with us here on this Saturday afternoon. Ravens won game one, 11 to nothing. They look to win the series here in game number two. Noah Strower gets the ball for the Ravens. He's already sat down the leadoff hitter, the center fielder. And that, of course, is number 11 for Barton County, Robbie Bolin. That one flied to center. And coming in, making the catch there is Eric Bacon. So two quick outs. That'll bring up Owen Klein. Strower on the season comes into this one with a 9.95 ERA. Had some inconsistency this season, but they do like around 25 innings this year. The key for him is going to be trying to limit those free passes. 23 walks on the season. We'll look to keep that number down here today. 2-0 now here on the second baseman, Klein. Trying to piece together a 1-2-3 inning. That one flied to left field. And the play is made. Raven pitching 1-2-3 to get it started. The bats will come alive here in the bottom of the first on the Red Raven Sports Network. Adrian Dominguez will lead it off for the Ravens. Bottom of the first. Coffeyville goes to work against the left-hander Ethan Miniker. Miniker 3-1 on the season. A 3.44 earned run average and first pitch high. Ball one to Dominguez. Dominguez went two for four in game one. There's a strike on the outside edge. One and one. Miniker's thrown 36 and two-thirds innings this year. Struck out 26, only walked 13. Does a nice job of putting the ball over the plate. And Dominguez takes advantage, rips it to left center field, but running and making the catch there is the left fielder, Caden Stones, for the first out. So here's Nathan Cruz. Quite a few changes for Barton here in game two. We'll get you those here as we move throughout our first inning. First pitch to Cruz is barreled. That's going to be a base hit. So one out single for Cruz. But again, a lot of changes here for the Barton Cougars. Kyler Horseman at third base here in game two. He DH'd in game one and pitched a couple innings. Behind the plate here for game number two is Grant Nottleman. In center field, you have, excuse me, 
in right field now, you have Wyatt Yetter. And like I said, Miniker is on the mound. So quite a few changes for the Cougars after that 11 nothing defeat in game one. Here's Carson Schrack, first pitch strike. Barton has thrown a pair of lefties at the Ravens today. Of course, we had Nathan Bowman pitch game one. Now here's Miniker in game two. Barton trying to, as Schrack flies it to left center field, sinking fast, the shortstop will make the catch. That's the shortstop, Jaron Cotton, and there's two down. Now adding number six, Harrison Smith. But with a win in this final game, Barton would clinch a 2-2 series split. The Ravens with a win would clinch a series victory. So Harrison Smith, the batter, step off, throw over to first, and they got him picked off. Cruz caught in a rundown. He will be tagged out, inning over. Heck of a pickoff move by Miniker, and he limits the damage. Our score after one, 0-0. Zero, zero. We'll see Noah Strower back on the mound next on the Red Raven Sports Network. Special day here at Coffeyville Community College as Red Raven baseball coach Jake Martin was celebrated for his 200th career victory at the helm of the Red Ravens. Martin took over the Raven baseball team back in 2015 and earlier this season won his 200th game. Coach Martin has helped over 100 Red Raven players reach four-year institutions as well as 76 earning NGCAA academic award recognition. So congratulations to Coach Martin on his 200th victory as the head coach of the Red Ravens. Noah Strower quickly ahead, 0-2 here in the top half of the second. No score here in our final game of a four-game set between the Barton Cougars and Red Ravens. Ravens really came out in game one and punched the Cougars in the mouth, winning 11-0 in five innings. Barton looking for a little bit more success here in game two. This is the designated hitter. Owen Bailey. 2-2 pitch from Strower. And tried to dot that inside corner, just missed. Count runs full. Now Garrison was telling me during the break that uh, he's been working with Noah on his curveball. So we'll see if that comes out here in any uh, two strike counts this afternoon. A leadoff walk drawn by Bailey. Part-time pitching coach. So this is going to be the catcher, Grant Nottleman. And Nottleman shows bunt, bunts it back to Strower. Strower on to first in time. It's a true sacrifice for Nottleman. One down here in the second. That's how this Barton team plays baseball. Not a ton of power. They get guys on, they get them over, and they get them in. Number 
So runner on second, one out. Here's Kyler Horseman, takes ball one. Nice block by Gillespie. Gillespie doing something that's incredibly difficult, and that's catch both games of a doubleheader. One zero pitch from Strower inside two and zero. Strower, of course, a sophomore and a transfer from inside the conference. He's from Shawnee Mission. Nice breaking ball there. There's the curve ball. Snapped off. Man, we should have Garrison work with all the pitchers if he's going to snap curve balls like that. 2-1, fouled off. Strower trying to retire the talented freshman Kyler Horseman. Horseman pitched in game one. He hit cleanup in game one as well. This is a young man that can really do everything on the baseball field. 2-2 two -two pitch. Ground ball through the right side. Base hit. Bailey will round and hold up. Throw home would have been a pretty close play. So runners on the corners. One out as Kyler Horseman gets the first hit of the day for Barton. And now a chance here for the Cougars, and this is Wyatt Yetter, the right fielder. Yetter on the season, a 289 hitter. He has driven in 22 runs. Looking to make it 23. Runner on third, runner on first, one out. Blocked nicely by Gillespie. Runner takes off, and Gillespie will eat it. So runners on second and third on a wild pitch. Barton trying to take an early lead here in game two of our doubleheader. Top of the second, no score. Runners on second and third, one out. Strower, foul back. That was coming right at Andrew Elrod's head. <laughs> Good thing the net's there. Andrew was about to have to make the catch of his life. You don't got to catch it. You just got to get your hand in front of your face. That one grounded foul. It's easier to fix a broken hand than a broken face. One and two. Yetter behind in the count. And Strower will look to get a swing and a miss or a pop-up to prevent the runner from scoring. That one grounded foul again. Ravens are not playing the infield in. They will concede the run with a ground ball. The way the Raven offense swung the bats in game one. One run doesn't really feel like a huge deficit for this team. One-two pitch, big pitch here for Strower. Breaking ball, swing and a miss. Big time strikeout for the sophomore Strower. Garrison turns his head and nodding, knowing that curveball is by his coaching. Look at that, he takes pride. We're going to have to tell Coach Martin what's going on here and start getting him with the starters before every game. <laughs> Strike one. This is Caden Stones, the left fielder. Oh, one to Stones. Runners on second and third, two outs. That one line, Cruz to his left, makes the play. Long throw across the diamond, picked by Amon. And the inning is over. Ravens work their way out of trouble. No score, we go bottom second.
Bottom of the second inning, no score here from Coffeeville Community College. Walter Johnson Park, it'll be Harrison Smith leading off the second inning for the Ravens. Barton had runners on second and third with only one out. Noah Strower with a strikeout and a ground out, gets out of the inning, and now the Ravens will look to take the lead. Coming up here in the bottom of the second as Smith, first pitch, grounded foul. It'll be Smith, Andrews, and Hill. Three players that all did damage in the first game. Oh and one here to Harrison Smith. Smith hitting 351, two home runs, 22 runs batted in. Takes the ball outside. With Ethan Miniker, you know he's throwing the ball over the plate. He's only walked 13 guys all season long. And there's a swing and a miss by Smith. One ball, two strikes, bottom of the second here. From Walter Johnson Park, wind blowing towards right center field. That one grounded, it's gonna be a tough play. Shortstop charges, Smith has decent speed, but they got him by a step. Nice play by the shortstop, Nathan Cruz, to end the top half of the second. Nice play there by Jerron Cotton to start the bottom half. We've seen a couple athletic plays by each of the shortstops. It shows you how athletic you have to be to be a college shortstop. George Andrews steps in, one out, nobody on. First pitch, grounded foul. Ravens have been very aggressive at the plate so far, attacking that first pitch. Oh, one is there, no balls, two strikes. Ethan Miniker working quickly, the 0-2, ball one. Looks like a slider there that broke down and away. One, two pitch, Andrews. Lays off again, down and away, two and two. Jaden Hill stands in the on-deck circle. Andrews trying to give the Ravens their Second base runner of the day. That one off the outside corner and the count runs full. George Andrews, as the year's gone on, we've seen him have better and better plate discipline. Laying off a lot of close pitches. And he draws a walk, one out base runner here for the Ravens. So Jaden Hill steps in, runner on first, one out. Now batting number five, Jaden Hill. Hill had a two-run single in the first inning of game one. Jaden exited, first pitch fouled off again. First pitch swinging are the Ravens very early and often in this one. Hill exited a game against Highland last weekend after crashing into the outfield wall. It was an elbow injury and a... Good to see him back in the lineup, nothing serious, and he's a big time contributor to this team. Not only at the plate, also made some great plays in the outfield in game one. Grounded foul though, quickly behind, no balls, two strikes. Yellow batting gloves for Jaden Hill. Kind of pulling off the ketchup mustard look with the helmet and the gloves. Throw over to first, and back in time is Andrews. Miniker did pick off Nathan Cruz to end the first inning. Runner on first, one out, 0-2 oh pitch to Jaden Hill. Swing and a miss, struck him out, elevated fastball. Two down for Ethan Miniker. And here comes Christian Amen. Amen, 287 on the season. Seven home runs, 29 runs batted in. Amen also has drawn 15 walks.
1-0 here on Amon. Andrews the runner off of first base. The pitch over the plate, strike one. One and one to today, the first baseman, Christian Amon. First time he's played first and had a really nifty pick to end the top half of the second inning. One, one. Amon to the right side, base hit. Andrews, wide turn. He's going to try and go first to third. He will be safe. Ball cut off. Amon with a base hit. Runners on the corners, and here comes Ethan Gillespie. So the Ravens have put runners on the corners courtesy of a walk and a base hit and a chance to draw first blood. Here's the catcher. Gillespie had two hits in the first game of our doubleheader, an infield single in the second, and an RBI double in the fourth. First pitch. Strike, top of the zone. Runner takes off, throw, gets away, and Amon's going to end up at second base. That'll be a stolen base for Amon. As they were focused on Andrews not breaking for the plate, Amon able to duck in. So that is going to be Christian Amon's seventh stolen base of the season. And now a base hit could very easily make it 2 nothing Coffeyville. The pitch. And just off the inside corner. That one did not miss by much. One and one. Miniker has been Barton's best pitcher all year. He's in a very tough spot today trying to give his team a much needed bounce back win. Two and one on Gillespie. Miniker back to working out of the windup. The two one pitch. That one grounded to shortstop. And the throw across the diamond is in time. Miniker puts up a zero. We are scoreless through two. Ravens threaten, can't break through. We get to the third. Zero zero on the Red Raven Sports Network. Noah Strower back out for the top half of the third inning. He goes to work against Owen Klein, the second baseman. Klein shows bunt and bunts it foul. <laughs> 0 1 from Strower. Outside corner, strike two. O2 pitch. Fly ball, right field foul. Strower again ahead in the count, 0 and 2. The pitch up and in. Klein 
Ducks out of the way. One ball, two strikes. One and two. Swing and a miss. Curve ball, Gillespie applies the tag, one down. So that'll bring up Robbie Bowen after the strikeout of Cotton. And strike one. Quickly 0 and 2. Bowen, the talented leadoff hitter, hitting just a hair below 500. Swing and a miss. Back to back K's for Noah Stroer. One zero pitch. Just high, two and zero. Three balls, no strikes. There's a strike from Stroer, makes it three and one. That one line foul, full count. So Stroer's battled back from a 3-0 count to force it full and now has a chance to strike out the side here. 3-2. Ground ball and it will roll foul. Once again, we have, for the second straight game, Hunter Sire in the on-deck circle in the third inning. Swing and a miss, Stroer. Fans three in the third. He's dialed in. Raven pitchers have combined for eight shutout. We go bottom three. Bottom three, no score here in Walter Johnson Park. Eric Bacon will lead it off for the Red Ravens. Bacon going to work against Ethan Miniker, who worked his way out of a jam to end the second inning. Runners on second. And each team had runners on second and third in the second inning, and each pitcher able to work their way out of it. Noah Stroer came out in the third and struck out the side. 
First pitch to Bacon was fouled off. We do have a substitution in at second base for the Barton Cougars. Number 21, Hunter Sayer, who comes in for Owen Klein. The pitch missed outside. One ball, one strike. Bacon shows bunt. That's bunted hard to the third baseman. Throw is spiked, and they got him still by a half a step. Play was made there. That's number 13, Cesar Gomez. So one down here in the third. That brings up Adrian Dominguez. Dominguez takes ball one inside. One zero pitch on the outside edge, strike one. Minikers, one one, breaking ball way out. Two balls, one strike. Two one pitch. Off the inside edge. Now three and one, Dominguez in the driver's seat. That one fouled off. Went to a sinker down and in. And substitution for Barton. Uh, now at first base, number 22, Barrett Donaldson for Kyler Horseman. 22 for 17. We'll have a quick conversation between the pitcher and our umpire. Number 22, Barrett Donaldson, is also in the game for Barton playing first base. That one high, ball four, second walk issue by Miniker and Dominguez, a one-out base runner. That'll bring up Nathan Cruz. One on, one out. First pitch to Cruz, Dominguez at first. That one down and away, ball one. One zero pitch to Cruz, up and away two and zero. Miniker has lost the strike zone here in this bottom of the third. Shrack stands on deck. Cruz has been the Ravens' best hitter from a batting average perspective all year long. Three and zero. As in this at bat, particularly Miniker appears to be overthrowing it. All three pitches have ended up in the left-handed hitter's batter's box. 3-0 from Ethan Miniker. And there he finds the zone, strike one. Still a hitter's count to Nathan Cruz. Three balls, one strike, wind blowing heavier out to right. Dominguez off of first. Dominguez throw over, back in time. Three balls, one strike on the Ravens shortstop. And another throw over, back again is Dominguez. Ethan Miniker is... A freshman out of Winnipeg in Manitoba. Ball four, back-to-back -back walks, and two on, one out. Here comes Carson Schrack.
Brief mound visit between the catcher Nottleman and the pitcher Miniker. Shrack, a dangerous hitter. Second on the Ravens with 32 runs batted in. Outside corner, strike one to Carson Schrack. He didn't like that one. A one to Schrack. Outside, ball one. Runner at second, Dominguez. Runner at first is Cruz. A pair of walks issued in this third inning. Ethan Miniker, who came into today only issuing 13 walks all year, has issued three in the first two and a third. 2-1, excuse me, 1-1, one, one, fouled off, and now 1-2. and two. So now 1-2 and two on Carson Schrack. Miniker's pitch. Swing and a foul tip into the glove. Shrack is gone. A huge strikeout for Barton. Two down. Now batting number six, Harrison Smith. Here's Harrison Smith. Smith with two on, two out. First pitch from Miniker. And he will look to the plate, and that's up and in, ball one. Smith, a sophomore out of Norman, Oklahoma. Now ahead in the count, one ball and no strikes. Dominguez has good speed at first. Cruz has, excuse me, Dominguez has good speed at second. Cruz has good speed at first, one and one, as that one peppers the inside corner. Harrison Smith, a 351 hitter. He's driven in 22 runs. The pitch. Got through the legs of the catcher. Runners will move up. Second and third. Ball squirts through the legs of Nottleman. And once again, much like the second inning, a base hit can make it 2 nothing Ravens. Each team has had Opportunities to score, nobody has yet. Who will be the first team to break through? 2-1 to Harrison Smith. Fouled off down the left field line. We saw Harrison Smith in game one against Nathan Bowman fight off a couple very tough 0-2 pitches before getting hit by a pitch in an inning where the Ravens scored two. Now, Smith will have to be the one that delivers the the damage. Upstairs, full count. Standing on deck is George Andrews. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. No score, Ravens going for a series win. The pitch from Miniker. Fouled down the left field line. Again, Miniker gets his sign, the full count pitch. And ball four, Harrison Smith draws the third walk of the inning. They're loaded for George Andrews. Now batting number 34, George Andrews. Andrews a team high nine home runs, a team high 42 RBIs. A team high, excuse me, second on the team with 71 total bases. 
Andrews hitting 295. First pitch fouled off. We talked about it in game one. With the wind blowing in and it being a cooler day. Probably not going to see too many home runs today, but if anyone's going to hit one, it might be this guy. Quickly 0-2. Miniker has been able to walk the tightrope so far this afternoon. He's one strike away. Gets a little bit of encouragement from his catcher, Grant Nottleman. Bases are full. Three walks drawn in the inning by the Ravens. Miniker and Andrews both take a minute to collect their composure. Big moment of this game. No balls, two strikes. Bases full, Ravens trying to draw first blood, the 0-2. Just off the inside corner. One and two. And there's a warning to the Barton dugout. And that uh, was very clearly picked up on Andrew Elrod's crowd mic. Well done, Andrew. We don't have to wonder what the umpire was saying. So after the pitch missed inside, one and two on Andrews. And we'll do it again, bases loaded. We saw Andrews hit a grand slam last weekend. The one, two, line to right. It is down, base hit. Dominguez scores, Cruz giving the wave. Two nothing, Coffeyville. They wave around another one. Smith will score, three run triple. George Andrews gets the Ravens in front. Adding on to his team high, he now has 45 runs knocked in this season. Walks end up haunting Miniker. He walks three in that inning. They all come home, come around to score on the big hit from George Andrews. Jaden Hill with a runner on third, two outs. Here's the 1-0. And fouled out of the glove of the catcher. One and one. One ball, one strike here to Jaden Hill. That one blocked very nicely by Nottleman. That ball was very close to making it 4 nothing if the catcher wasn't able to get in front of it. Hill roped to right center field and run down and caught. But the Ravens on the board first. They get draw three walks to load the bases. George Andrews, the big hit. 3 nothing Coffeeville after four.
Hunter Sire leads off the top of the fourth inning here from Walter Johnson Park. Ravens lead it 3-0 on a big-time two-out hit by George Andrews. Noah Stroer working with the lead, and he finds the outside corner for strike one. <coughs> Stroer's been very sharp so far through the front three. Struck out the side in the third inning. And one and one now here on Hunter Strayer. Excuse me, Hunter Sire. Breaking ball stays outside. Two and one. Sire came in to play shortstop in game one. He's come in to play second base here in game two. That one lined and pass Dominguez. Lead off base hit for Sire here in the fourth. Here's Owen Bailey, he's DH here in game two. He was the catcher in game one. First pitch blocked by Gillespie. One and oh. Ryan Liker went the complete game in game one, so the Ravens have their full bullpen at their disposal here today. 2-0 from Stroer. Two zero pitch. Runner at first, nobody out. Sires lead. That one lined off of Stroer. Stroer goes to track it down, can't pick it up. It's going to be an infield hit. And Jake Martin will head out to check on his pitcher. Ravens just now began to get a pitcher walking around out there. As they have a conversation with Noah Stroer after he took that hit off of it. Looks like the right leg. Right-handed pitcher down there in the Raven bullpen just started to get throwing. Catcher back behind the plate. They're going to see how he looks throwing the ball here. Looks like the Raven coaching staff have seen enough to leave him out there. So Stroer will stay in the game. But two on, nobody out here for Barton as they threaten. And this is Grant Nottleman. First pitch. Nottleman shows bunt, pops it up. Shrack diving nearly got there. That would have been a remarkable play. So 0 and 1 on Nottleman. It is the freshman horseman on deck. We'll see if Nottleman continues to show bunt, trying to get the runners over. He does, and he bunts it foul once again. 0-2. This is Barton baseball. Get guys on, get them over. Not a whole lot of power from this Barton team, but a lot of speed and a lot of technique throughout this Cougar lineup. 
0-2. Outside, ball one. Stroer still in the driver's seat here. One ball, two strikes. And just missed. So Nottleman's worked it back to an even count, two and two. Ravens continue to get a right-hander loose down there in the bullpen. Stroer. Line to left center field. Smith coming in. He'll make the catch. Sire bluffs, will retreat back to second, one down. Stroer still holding that hip. You can tell that, that contact definitely affecting him. So here's the freshman, Kyler Horseman. First pitch is belted foul. That ended up down where the right-hander's warming up. Kyler Horseman has about as much talent as anyone on this Barton team. But hits a ground ball to third here. Schrack quickly to second. Dominguez on the first, not in time. Throw gets away, and Barton on the board. They make it 3-1. Horseman tries to get to second. He will. So the runner at second is retired. That was Bailey. But an errant throw by Dominguez will result in the first run of the game, 3-1. Three to, uh, three to so here's Barrett Donaldson. Breaking ball strike. Ravens still lead it three to one. Stroer with a chance to limit the damage. Two outs, runner on second. And that one blocked nicely by Gillespie, one and one. One, one, swing and a miss. It looked like a change up from Stroer. He's ahead in the count. He struck out the side in the third inning. Looking for a potential K to end the fourth. 1-2 pitch. Breaking ball just off the outside corner. Tried to backdoor it. Didn't miss by much. Donaldson on the year, a 256 hitter. 2-2. Two -two. Grounded. And Shrack, what a pick. Carson Schrack showing the leather, and they limit the damage. Noah Stroer through four very solid innings, and he gets out of it with a little help from his friends. 3-1 Ravens.
Christian Amen will lead off the bottom of the fourth. Ravens lead it three to one. Amen had a base hit his first time up to right field. Christian playing first base for the first time this season. And he takes a strike from Miniker. Miniker walked the bases loaded in the third, and George Andrews cashed in with a big time hit that brought home three. One and one now to Christian Amen. Amen will be followed by Gillespie and Bacon, 7 8 9. Amen grounds it to third, and that's Gomez across the diamond, one down. Cesar Gomez makes the play for the first out here in the bottom of the fourth. And that pitch hits Gillespie. We got some, we got some beef up here in the box between the PA guy and Garrett. <laughs> Man, Ethan Gillespie is not going to be the only thing getting hit here if we're not careful. <laughs> Strike one, Eric Bacon. Bacon tried to lay down a bun his first time out. Up oh, was thrown out. And takes ball two. <laughs> Nobody on. Excuse me, one on, one out after Gillespie was hit. And that one missed. Three and oh on Eric Bacon. Now, Ethan Gillespie, not like most catchers, he's three for three on stolen bases this year. So he's got a little bit of speed to him. 3-0 to Bacon. And catches the inside corner. Strike one. Three one, Bacon chops it. They'll go the short way to second for one. No chance to get the speedy Bacon at first. Gillespie retired, two down. Bacon will claim first. And so here's Dominguez with the speedy Bacon on first. Bacon stole a base in game one of our doubleheader. That was his sixth steal of the season. And there he goes on the first pitch. Throw is not in time. Seventh stolen base of the year for Bacon. That throw was right on the money, but that hop allowed Bacon to sneak in under the tag. It's now a base hit. Could get the Ravens a run. Here's the 1-0 to Dominguez. Outside, 2-0. Unconvention or uncharacteristic of Miniker. He's been working behind in the count quite a bit today. Here's the 2 0 pitch. Big lead for Bacon and a step off. Nearly threw it into center field. Three and oh now on Dominguez. It is Nathan Cruz on deck. Three zero pitch, and once again they step off. Three 
3-0 is on the outside corner, strike one. And that one also finds the zone and the count runs full to Adrian Dominguez. Miniker with back-to-back well-located pitches. Now the full count. And Dominguez chops it back to the pitcher. Minnick nearly stumbled, but makes the play, and the side is retired. Four innings in the books here at Walter Johnson Park. Ravens lead it 3-1 on the Red Ravens Sports Network. Caden Stones leads it off. Top five here from Walter Johnson Park. Ravens lead it 3-1. So far, a solid four innings for Noah Strower. 1-0 here to Stones. And that one grounded foul. Barton found themselves quickly in an insurmountable deficit in game one. They've done a much better job of being competitive here in game two. The Ravens still lead 3-1 on a huge third inning hit by George Andrews. 1-2 grounded foul. Stones leads off this inning and he'll be followed by Cotton and Bolin. That one fouled back once again. You can hear that Barton dugout, man. They're fired up. One, two, Strower. Breaking ball just off the outside corner. Two two. Grounded foul. So Caden Stone's putting together one heck of an at bat here. Strower looking to win the battle. Swing and a miss. One down. Strower with another strikeout. One down here in the fifth. That'll bring up Jerron Cotton. Breaking ball fouled off. Strower back on the mound, and here's the windup. Outside, one and one.
One one pitch. Breaking ball outside, two and one. Two one to Cotton is fouled off. Two and two, Strower. Line to left, and that's gonna get down into the wall. Extra bases here for Cotton. Smith getting to it, it'll be a one out double for the Cougars shortstop. Fourth hit of the day for Barton. That'll bring up top of the order, Robbie Bowen. Runner in scoring position. First pitch to Bolin it is blocked nicely by Gillespie. Here's one and oh. Stroer, breaking ball, flied to center. Bacon has room and has the catch. Two down and shows off the arm, keeps the runner at second. That was a dart from Eric Bacon, my goodness. I bring up Cesar Gomez, the third baseman. Runner on second, now two outs as Strower tries to navigate his way through the fifth inning. First pitch breaking ball, just upstairs, 1-0. Wind blowing pretty consistently out to right field now. Two and zero oh, as that breaking ball stays outside. One out double by Cotton. Two and zero. Oh. And he finds the zone there, strike one to Gomez. Two one, Strower gets his sign, the pitch. Blocked by Gillespie, but now a three one hitter's count. On deck is Number 21, Hunter Seer, Sire, excuse me. That one fouled off, count runs full. This feels like a big pitch here for both sides. If Strower can find a way to get an out, Ravens keep a hold of momentum. Barton finds a way to get a hit. We've got a brand new ball game here. 3-2, two, two outs. The pitch to Gomez. Foul off. So we'll do it again. Stroer gets his sign. Works out of the stretch. The pitch, ball four. Gomez draws a walk and... Cotton takes off for third and swipes a base. So it'll be runners on the corners, two outs, and here comes Hunter Sire. Sire drew a walk his first time up, and now we'll have a visit on the mound. This is not Coach Martin, so I would not anticipate a move here, but you never know. We have been informed that the pitcher warming up in the bullpen is number 24, Isaac Bem. Bame, thank you. Isaac Bame. Bame, a freshman out of Anderson, Missouri. Umpire comes to break up the meeting on the mound. And 
And Noah Strower will go to work against Sire. Big at bat here for the sophomore on both sides. Strower trying to complete one of his better starts of the year. Sire trying to show his value coming in off the bench and trying to pull Barton back in it. Ball one. one -oh pitch from Strower. Inside, blocked by Gillespie. And they'd say it did not hit him. Sire tried to sell it. The umpire did not agree. On deck is Owen Bailey. It's now 2-0 on Sire. 3-0. That's three consecutive pitches that have missed low. by him three and two full count pitch ground ball Shrack at third long throw across the body in time Noah Strower five innings of one run baseball Ravens 3-1 at the halfway point Bottom five here at Walter Johnson Park. Ravens lead it 3-1, and Nathan Cruz leads off against Ethan Miniker. First pitch, swinging to left field. Got a little bit of carry, but on a day like that, on a day like today, I should say, that does not have enough to get out of here. Catch will be made one down. Up and in and got Shrack on the elbow, hit by pitch. <laughs> Good Lord, the beef up here is getting ridiculous. So one out base runner for the Ravens. And here's Harrison Smith. For those that don't understand what we're talking about here, after every time a batter gets hit by a pitch, as there's ball one to Smith, RPA guy Cade Dowd will say the hitter was hit by a pitch. And Garrison's heckling him, saying thank you every time he does that. And uh, t tensions are starting to rise here in the press box. Throw over to first, and back in time is Carson Schrack. Andrew's having a good time. Andrew's the furthest away from any fight that would happen. So Andrew's got nothing to worry about. 
<laughs> Andrew would move the camera over. That's what he'd do. Up and into Smith, 2-0. and Yeah, that's Andrew's job if a fight breaks out. Turn the camera and start screaming world star. <laughs> 2-0 and on Smith. Shrack the runner at first. Carson on the season has 11 stolen bases. And a step off back in time. Two zero pitch to Shrack, and or excuse me, that's to Smith, and he jammed him. Catch will be made in foul territory by Cesar Gomez. Two down. So here's George Andrews. Had a huge hit back in the third inning that gave the Ravens three runs. Grounded foul. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two on Andrews. Runner goes, Andrew sprays it, what a catch! What a snag by Cotton, ends the inning, went up and got it. We're through five, three, one Ravens. One of the best defensive plays you'll see all year. Sixth inning here at Walter Johnson Park. Ravens lead it 3-1, to one, and new pitcher is right-hander Isaac Bain, the freshman out of Anderson, Missouri. Bain will go to work against Owen Bailey. First pitch is a strike on the inside edge. If you're just now joining us, a ridiculous catch by Jerron Cotton in the fifth inning. On a hit and run, he skied for a line drive over the second base bag. One of the best defensive plays we've seen all season. Quickly 0-2 on Bailey. Bame comes into this one. He's pitched in 
nine games this year, one and one with an ERA of 7.7. .7. He has struck out seven in 14 innings pitched. One and two as he misses with that one high. And the Ravens not messing around with their bullpen here. They've already got another righty warmed up. They're ready to have arms ready to go to try and get these last 12 outs. One, two from Bame. And started to go, did he? Yes, he did. Bailey down on strikes. Bame with a strikeout to get the sixth underway. So that'll bring up Grant Nottleman. First pitch outside, 1-0. Nottleman catching here in game number two. He's a 274 hitter on the season. And that one inside nearly grazed him, 2-0. Bame looking to give the Ravens some big outs here in the middle innings. as we work towards the back as the Ravens look to win the series. 3-0 and now on the catcher, Nottleman. On deck is the talented catcher, uh, excuse me, the talented freshman, Kyler Horseman. Three zero. there's a strike. The wind's starting to take Isaac's hat on each of the last two pitches. Bame gets his sign. Three and one, one out here in the top of the sixth. And missed upstairs, ball four. So after a strikeout of oh, uh, Bailey, a walk issued to Nottleman. Now batting number 17, Kyler Horseman. So here's Kyler Horseman. Horseman grounded into a fielder's choice his last time up. Reached on an error, on an errant throw by Adrian Dominguez. That led to Barton's only run of the day. Ball one. One-zero -oh pitch from the freshman Isaac Bame. Skied. Running after it is Amen, and he's out of room. So one ball, one strike as we have a car alarm going off. There it goes. Just a little adversity to overcome. One and one. Throw over to first back in time is Nottleman. One one. Swing and a miss. Slider that broke on the inside corner and tied Horseman up. He did not look comfortable on that swing. One and two, freshman versus freshman. Throw over to first and once again back in time. Bayman relief of the starting pitcher today, Noah Strower. Strower went five innings, allowing one run. It was an unearned run. One, two pitch is muscled out to right. That's falling fast for a base hit. And a walk in a single back-to-back -back base runners here for Barton. That'll bring up Barrett Donaldson. Donaldson, the first baseman here. He came in in the third inning. And he takes ball one up. Yeah, 
We'll have a mound visit here as the Raven pitching coach on his way to the mound. Fame trying to walk the tightrope here in the sixth. Ravens do a variety warming up in the bullpen. Looks like there's two arms warming up in the bullpen. Hard to see the other one. But the Ravens do have arms ready. Look at that. Garrison's dialed in today. It's Jackson Wagoner and Dallas Goodpasture that are both up in the bullpen. But for now, it's BAME, and he will go to work against Barrett Donaldson. BAME looking for a ground ball. There's a just off the inside corner, ball one. Excuse me, ball two, two and oh, to Donaldson. The pitch, swing and a miss. Two one pitch, upstairs three and one. Runner at second is Nottleman. He drew a walk. Runner at first, Horseman had a base hit. Three one pitch, outside ball four. Barton has loaded the bases. There's Caden Stones. Stones had a lengthy at bat his last time up, went down swinging, facing Noah Strower. First pitch, swing and a miss. Bame got the first battery face. Since then, three consecutive have reached. Ravens lead it by two runs here in the sixth. Fouled off quickly, 0 and 2. No balls, two strikes. The pitch from Bame. Nice block by Gillespie. 1 and 2. So big moment here for the freshman righty. The one, two. Swing, foul tip, and got him. Stone's gone on strikes. It's a strikeout for Bame, two down. And now uh, here's Jerron Cotton. Cotton doubled his last time up. Also made a ridiculous snag to end the bottom of the fifth. Bame from the stretch. Breaking ball, strike. This would be quite the display of maturity here from the freshman if he's able to work his way out of this 0-1 pitch. Line to right, well hit. Smith gives it a look, it is gone! And a huge grand slam for Jarrett Cotton. Barton has their first lead of the day. Cotton has come up enormous in game two of this doubleheader. He has a pair of extra base hits. For Cotton, that is his team leading eighth home run of the year. He now also has 50 runs batted in. 
Ravens going to the bullpen. 5-3 Cougars. We'll be back right after this. New pitcher for the Ravens is Dallas Goodpasture, the left-hander. And he'll go to work against Robbie Bull and Goodpasture. Trying to get the Ravens out of the inning. He is a freshman from Enon, Oklahoma. Breaking ball fouled off. A grand slam from Jaron Cotton has put the Barton Cougars ahead for the first time today. Now the Ravens will try to get out of this inning and start to mount a rally. Good pastures 0-1 is low, 1-1. One one. Robbie Bowen on the season, 491 batting average coming into today. That one lined right at the shortstop, Cruz. The throw to first is in time. Inning over, Good Pasture does his job, gets the final out, but a grand slam for Jerron Cotton. Barton on top, Ravens got work to do.
sixth inning. Barton leads it five to three and a new pitcher for the Cougars. It is number 28, Jackson Mack Williams. And Jaden Hill will lead it off for the Ravens. First pitch well outside, ball one. Mack Williams on the season. Has a 7-2-3 ERA. 1-0 fouled off. This isn't, this isn't Randy Johnson. This is Taylor Rogers. That three-quarter sinker slot. Chris has a lefty. There's a, there's a little sail in there. One and two, strike on the outside corner. One and two on Hill. Breaking ball up and in, two and two. It'll be Hill to lead off the sixth, and he'll be followed by Amen and Gillespie. Two and two. That one line to left, sinking fast. Diving, and he can't get it. Hill turning, he'll shut it down. A leadoff base hit as it falls in front of Stones. So Amen comes up. Amen has a base hit and a ground out. I want to strike. Amen hovering right around that 290 mark on the season. He has seven home runs. The 0 1 pitch, Hill on first. Hill has great speed. That one upstairs, 1 and 1. One, one, one pitch. Quickly to the plate, Amen. Line drive, and that's going to be a double play. Unfortunate for the Ravens, but the play was made by Barrett Donaldson. And it's going to be a three unassisted DP. Number 17, Ethan and now here's Ethan Gillespie with two outs. So a chance for Jackson McWilliams to get out of the inning. Unscathed, strike one on Gillespie, the catcher. Oh, one pitch. Just off the outside edge, one and one. One, one pitch. Low, two and one. Two, one. Gillespie ground ball to the right. The second baseman on the run. Nice play made by Owen Klein. Little help from his defense. Jackson McWilliams through the sixth. Five, three, Barton. We're off to the seventh.
Seventh inning here in Coffeyville with the Ravens trailing 5-3 to three in the finale of a four-game series between Barton and Coffeyville. Ravens have won two of the first three, looking to clinch the series. Barton looking to split the four-game set. They lead it 5-3. Dallas Goodpasture back out there for the seventh inning. Strike one, the call on Cesar Gomez, the third baseman. It'll be Gomez followed by Sayer. Ground ball. This will be a very tough play for Cruz. What a play to just knock it down. But it'll be an infield hit for Gomez. That's a heck of an effort by Nathan Cruz. Now batting number 21, Hunter Sire. So here's Hunter Sire. Runner on first, one out. Ravens, after the four-run sixth inning, really need to put up a zero here against the Cougars in the seventh. That's a nice bunt by Sire. Gillespie makes the play to first. Sacrifice one down here in the seventh. Runner moves up to second. So here's Owen Bailey now. Runner on second, one out. And good pasture will try to strand a runner in scoring position. And we're going to go to the bullpen. Good pasture does his job, gets a pair of outs. Ravens down 5-3. We're going to a new arm when we come back on the Red Raven Sports Network. Keep it a two-run deficit. First pitch breaking ball just missed. 1-0. Wagoner on the season has pitched in nine games. This will be his tenth. He's 1-2 with a 6-4-8 earned run average. Eight strikeouts in eight and a third innings. And he's behind 2-0. Three and zero, as Wagoner still looks for the strike zone here in his first at bat. Ravens once again have a couple arms getting ready in the bullpen. Jake Martin keeping that bullpen active down the stretch of this one. Three zero from Wagoner, and four pitch walk. So two on here for Barton in the seventh, one out. That'll bring up the catcher, Grant Nodelman. Nodelman drew a walk his last time up. First pitch well inside, 1-0. Oh. Five pitches in, Wagoner still looking for his first strike.
The Lawrence freshman, breaking ball, stays up. Now we'll have a mound visit. Barton dug out. Doing their best to get in the head of the freshman righty. Cougars scored four in the sixth. Took a 5-3 lead on a grand slam from Jerron Cotton. That is our score here in the top of the seventh. Ravens 21 and 26 on the season. But have really picked up their level of play as of late. The four game sweep of Highland. They've won two of the three so far with Barton. Beat Butler on Tuesday, swept Oklahoma Wesley and JV. The Ravens have been on a mini roll as of late, and obviously winning the series and being able to win three out of four against a Barton team that's really been among the conference's best for most of the year would be a great way to keep this momentum going. Wagoner gets a little pep talk and now digs in, 2-0 count. 3-0. That one missed upstairs. Nottleman will be in take mode here on 3-0. The pitch inside. Back-to-back -back walks, and the bases are loaded. And Jake Martin coming out to the mound. And we will see him motion to the bullpen. Ravens down 5-3. Barton has the bases loaded. Ravens will try to get their way out of it.
Grant Edwards, the right-handed pitcher, is the new arm for the Ravens. And he is working with the bases loaded. Ground ball to Cruz. Chance to turn two. There's one on the first and not in time. And Barton will get a run on a fielder's choice. So two down. But good hustle. And it's 6-3 Cougars. So that'll bring up Barrett Donaldson. Edwards ball one, Gillespie with the block. Ravens trying to keep it to just a one run inning here in the seventh. So credit the RBI. As here's the 1-0, fly to center field. Bacon should have room. Edwards limits the damage. Cougars get one, Ravens down 6-3 at the stretch. We'll see if the Raven bats can piece together some runs here as we go bottom seven. Eric Bacon leads off the bottom of the seventh. The Ravens down six to three. And have nine outs to play with as they try to battle their way back to a series victory. It would be a much easier bus drive back for the Cougars if they were able to split the four game series, but the Ravens obviously trying to make it a long, quiet bus ride home. Bacon fouls it back, one and one. Ravens won game one of our doubleheader 11 to nothing. The game was final in five innings. One one pitch. Just off the outside edge, two and one to Bacon. Barton has an arm getting ready down in their bullpen. The two one. Bacon line. What a catch! This time it's Gomez in the Barton infield. Flashing the leather. Cesar Gomez. Here's Dominguez, first pitch, just missed. That one finds the inside corner. Strike one, one and one on Dominguez. Dominguez, fly ball left. Shortstop going back, gives way and Cotton caught it. Jerron Cotton's having the afternoon of his life.
A leaping catch, a grand slam, and then diving into the wall. Two down. First pitch ball one to Nathan Cruz. One zero to Cruz, two and zero. Ravens looking for a spark offensively. That one on the outside corner, two and one. The two one. Cruz, grounder to second. Klein charges, makes the play. Outstanding defense by the Cougars. They lead it 6-3 after seven. We go to the eighth on the Red Ravens Sports Network. Ravens trail 6-3, eighth inning here at Walter Johnson Park. Grant Edwards back out there for Coffeeville. I'm Shane Eel, it's US 98 and the Red Ravens Sports Network. So happy you're with us here on this Saturday. Edwards' first pitch, just missed high, ball one. Two zero to Hank Orr here, and that one swinging a miss. Two and one on Orr after the swing and miss. Here's the pitch from Grant Edwards, and that one off his foot. So Orr is plunked, leadoff man on for Barton. Both the Ravens and the Cougars have arms in the bullpen warming up. And now here is Cotton. Cotton has had, I would, I would be willing to bet this is probably his best game of the season. A grand slam, two just ridiculous defensive plays. He leads the team in home runs and RBIs, but I bet he'd tell you this is probably his best game of the year. He has been remarkable. He bats now with a runner on first, nobody out. First pitch, Cotton shows bunt, gets it down. Edwards charges, flips to first in time, one down. So sacrifice, one out here in the eighth. 
Runner up to second base, much like how we started the seventh. Now top of the order we go, it's Robbie Bolin. Been a relatively quiet day for Bolin. He had a base hit to lead off game one, but was caught stealing. Just the third time this year that's happened. He has 31 stolen bases and has only been caught three times. One of those three this afternoon by Ethan Gillespie. 1-0 pitch. And skies it. It's Dominguez who calls for it and makes the catch. So Dominguez makes the snag. Two down here in the eighth. And now here's number 13, Cesar Gomez. Now at number 13, Cesar Gomez. First pitch, inside corner, strike one. Oh and one here from Grant Edwards. Edwards, the sophomore out of Fort Gibson. Breaking ball and just missed. <laughs> Play to first, Cruz, the tag is in time. Inning over, Grant Edwards puts up a zero, Ravens down 6-3. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Do they have a rally in them? We're back right after this. Carson Schrack leads off the bottom of the eighth. Ravens down six to three. And the first pitch got him. Leadoff man is on for the Ravens here in the eighth inning. So Schrack reaches. That'll bring up Harrison Smith. First pitch to Smith on the outside corner, strike one. Schrack has solid speed, 11 stolen bases this season. He is going to continue his baseball career at the University of Arkansas. That one got him, back-to-back -back hit by pitches, and the tying run coming to the plate. Stand in there, take a bruise, and we've got the tying run coming up. And we're going to have a visit on the mound for the Cougars. Back-to-back -back batters hit by a pitch. And it will be George Andrews who will bat as the tying run with the Ravens down 6-3. to three. We're up. 
Ravens really haven't had much offensive success since the third inning. And all of a sudden, back-to-back -back free base runners. And if, with one swing of the bat, this game completely could turn upside down. And nobody on this Raven team that's better at turning the game upside down than George Andrews. Andrews steps in. Two on, nobody out. Batting number 34, George Andrews. First pitch to Andrews, two on, nobody out. Foul off. Andrews has been very aggressive on that first pitch today. We've seen in three of his at-bats him foul off the first pitch. 0-1, tying run at the plate for the Ravens. On the outside corner, strike two. So no balls, two strikes. Andrews in the box. Jaden Hill is on deck. The 0-2. Outside, ball one. One ball, two strikes. Big opportunity here for the Ravens. And that one locked him up. Strike three, Andrews retired, one down. First out of the eighth inning, and it's a big out for the Barton Cougars. So here's Jaden Hill. Again, tying run is at the plate. Runners on first and second, now one out. Breaking ball well upstairs, ball one to Hill. Jaden Hill had a big tie-breaking two-run single in game one. Does the sophomore have another big-time hit in him? Low, 2-0. Oh. Big hole between the shortstop and third baseman. 2-0 to Hill. Outside, 3-0. Christian Amon stands on deck. Three and zero on Jaden Hill. He shows bunt. Now pulls back. Three zero, strike. Track off of second. Smith off of first. Three one to Hill. Fouled off, full count. Jackson McWilliams trying to piece together back-to-back -to -back big outs of two of the Ravens' most dangerous hitters. He struck out Andrews, now a full count to Jaden Hill. The pitch, fouled off. Three, two, two on, one out, the pitch. Ground ball to third. Gomez will go to third, throw across the diamond, not in time. So they'll take the lead runner, Schrack, two down. Hill is safe at first. It'll be runners on first and second, two outs. And here comes Christian Amon. Two on, two outs, Ravens down three, bottom eight. First pitch to Amon, foul off. No balls, one strike, here's the pitch to Amon. Outside, one and one.
outside, two and one to Amon. Two one to Christian Amon. And that's gonna be a balk. Smith up to third, Hill up to second. Six three, Barton leads, runners at second and third, two outs. And a two and one count on Christian Amon. Amon has absolute home run power. He could tie it with one swing of the bat. Two one, Amon, chopper to second. Klein sets the feet, bobbled it momentarily but makes the play. Ravens get two on, but Barton works their way out of trouble. We go to the ninth, 6-3 Cougars on the Red Ravens Sports Network. Ninth inning of game two of our doubleheader. Ravens trail six to three to the Barton Cougars. And that's ball one from Grant Edwards as he pitches to the second baseman, Hunter Sear. 1-0 pitch off the outside corner, 2-0. Ravens won game one, 11 to nothing. Barton trying to hang on and split the doubleheader and split the series. Ground ball, Shrack able to knock it down. It's gonna be a tough throw from his knees and he throws it away. And Sire gets up and will advance to second base. So an E5, it'll be a single in an E5 and runner at second for the Cougars. So this is going to be number three, Cooper Tabor. Now pinch hitting, number three, Cooper Tabor. Tabor, a freshman out of Andover. Edwards working to the pinch hitter. Shows bunt, gets it down, it is a beauty. Gillespie spins, fires, in time. You could not have bunted that any better. Tabor not happy with the call. One down, runner at third. And now that'll bring up the catcher, Grant Nodelman. So 
So Nottleman bats with a runner on third, one out. And now Jake Martin coming to the mound. And we're going to make a move to the bullpen, it seems. Ravens going to a new arm. They lead it 6-3, ninth inning. We'll have a new pitcher when we come back. Alex Oliver, the new pitcher for Coffeeville. And he'll go to work against Grant Nottleman. Oliver, a sophomore out of Grove, Oklahoma, and he starts it off with a strike. Overcast, cloudy skies. Winds picked up a little bit here late in this one. Runner at third, one out. Oliver, one and one as that one misses. We saw Oliver come in against Highland last weekend and pitch five plus out of the bullpen. One one fouled off. One and two as Oliver looks for a big strikeout here. And grounded to first and through. Past Amon, it's an RBI single for Nottleman. And it's 7-3 Cougars. They have scored seven unanswered runs. So credit to Barton for having a short memory after the Ravens just absolutely demolished the Cougars in game one. And took a 3-0 lead in game two against Barton's top pitcher. The Cougars have responded. Strike one to the freshman Kyler Horseman. The pitch, throw over to first in time. Back in time, I should say, is not Nottleman. So 0 1 here from Oliver, and that one down and away, 1 and 1.
One ball, one strike. That one flied to right. Hill moves to his left, makes the catch, two down. That'll bring up Barrett Donaldson. They're over to first back in time. Oliver once again trying to limit the damage. Ball down, Gillespie's throw would have been in time, but it's off the glove of Dominguez and a stolen base for Nottleman. Two outs, runner on second, Donaldson the hitter. Two and oh. Oliver's pitch in there, strike one. That one blocked by Gillespie, three and one. Outside, ooh, a late strike two call. Donaldson is already out of the box. And the count runs full. Three, two, swing and a miss. Oliver with a strikeout, throw down to first in time. Let's go bottom nine, Ravens down seven, three. We'll need to rally in order to win the series here at Walter Johnson Park. Colton Wallstrom, the new pitcher for the Barton Cougars. The sophomore comes into this one with a 6.16 earned run average, three saves. That's the team lead. And he'll face Ethan Gillespie, Eric Bacon, and Adrian Dominguez. First pitch, breaking ball, strike. Wallstrom, a sophomore out of Omaha, Nebraska.
after the Ravens scored three in the third. As that one missed down and away, ball one. Barton scored one in the fourth, four in the sixth, one in the seventh, one in the ninth. They lead it 7-3. They've scored seven unanswered. 1-1 one, one pitch inside, 2-1. and one. Wallstrom does not walk a lot of guys. He's only issued five in 19 innings, but he also does not get a lot of swing and miss. Only six strikeouts. Three and one. With his unorthodox delivery and his natural sink, he relies a lot on ground balls. 3-1 to Gillespie. Strike. Full count. Gillespie, Ravens need four runs to tie. Five runs to win. Gillespie trying to get the leadoff man on. Full count pitch. Inside, ball four. Leadoff walk. And the Ravens get the first base runner of the ninth. And here comes Eric Bacon. Bacon was robbed of a double his last time up on a leaping snag by third baseman Cesar Gomez. So Carson Miller will come in to pinch run for Gillespie. Put a little speed on the bases and Carson Miller on the year has eight stolen bases. Bacon the hitter. The pitch. Missed, ball one. And if you're the Barton Cougars, you don't want this to get to Shrack and Andrews. So you're gonna try and sit down this part of the order. There's strike one to Bacon. There's a lot of players in this Raven lineup that can do damage, but Shrack and Andrews probably the two that can do more damage than anyone. Outside, two and one. That one's skied to left, out of play, foul ball. Two and two. Two two count to Bacon. Line to left. Sinking fast down foul. Not by much. So regrouping now will be the pitcher Colton Wallstrom. Bacon back into the box. Two two count. Runner at first, nobody out. Ravens down 7-3, trying to piece together some base runners and attempt a rally. Dominguez is on deck. 2-2 to Bacon. The pitch from Wallstrom, inside, full count. And Raven hitters, the first two of the inning, Gillespie and now Bacon have put some pressure on Wallstrom, each of them working a full count. Kim Bacon found a way on, to ba on first base. The full count pitch. Up and away, ball four. Back-to-back -back walks. And the table is set for the top of the order. Here comes Dominguez. Two on, nobody out. A mound visit coming for the Barton Cougars. They do have a right-hander warming up in the bullpen. But now Dominguez, Cruz, and Schrack will get their chance to try and pull the Ravens right back in it.
Dominguez steps into the box. Barton closer Colton Wallstrom has walked the first two hitters he's faced. And the Ravens, down by four, have a chance to make some noise here in the bottom of the ninth. Dominguez on the season, a 324 hitter. First pitch, ball one. Barton dugout trying to implore their closer. Raven dugout trying to start to get fired up. Strike one. Up and away, caught the corner. One and one on Dominguez. Miller, the pinch runner off of second, Bacon off of first, one, one. Breaking ball, ball two. Barton very quickly gets a right-hander hot in the bullpen. As their closer, Wallstrom has been tight roping around trouble. That one on the outside corner, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two on, nobody out. Ravens down four, Nathan Cruz on deck. Dominguez trying to find a way on base past the baton. 2-2 two -two pitch, outside, full count. Third consecutive full count worked by a Raven hitter. The first two reached, one on a walk. I should say both on a walk. And now Dominguez tries to be the third. Upstairs, ball four. Wallstrom has walked, the base is loaded. And here comes Nathan Cruz. The tying run coming to the plate. Barton coming to the mound. We will have a pitching change. Their closer, Colton Wallstrom, doesn't have it. Loads the bases. Ravens will try to make some noise against a new right-handed pitcher when we come back. Freshman right-hander Bradley Feaser, the new pitcher for the Barton Cougars. Feaser, six foot six, 250 pounds. A big right-hander, needs to get some big outs. Nathan Cruz, Carson Schrack, and Harrison Smith, the next three do up. Bases loaded, nobody out. Tying run at the plate, first pitch. Ball one. Three walks by Colton Wallstrom. Carson Miller on third. Eric Bacon on second. Adrian Dominguez on first. 1-0 pitch. Ground ball, foul. Hey, 
Yeah, I'm not sure they would have gotten an out on that play if that stayed fair. One ball, one strike. Fieser, right-handed pitcher out of Cheyenne, Wyoming. That pitch fouled off, one and two. His senior, Fieser's senior year of high school, which was about a year ago, he was clocked at 89 miles an hour. One, two pitch to Cruz. Fought it off. Fieser on the season, a 6-4-2 earned run average. He does not yet have a save. He's actually been a starter all year, 10 starts. This is his first time coming out of the bullpen. One, two. And Cruz to right center field. Playable. The catch is made. Runners tag. One run scores into third. Is Bacon. It's 7 4. Sack fly for Cruz. One down. Carson Schrack comes up now with runners on the corners and one out. So Fieser has the first out. Ravens get a run home, and the tying run ra remains at the plate. Carson Schrack, there's a big gap right there in left center field. Schrack's got the kind of speed where he could turn that into a triple. Ground ball to short. Step on second, throw to first, and that's a double play. Barton survives. Bradley Fieser, a starter, comes in to get the save, his first of his college career, and the Cougars hang on and win it 7-4. Ravens and Cougars split a four-game series. And that does it for us here from Walter Johnson Park. Again, the final score of our series finale, 7-4 Barton. I'm Shane Eel from Walter Johnson Park saying so long. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. We'll be back at it next time right here on the Red Ravens Sports Network.